finally got it now. Watch it breaks the glass. Look how fast they're now going through. Look at this. This is where it gets crazy, bro. What's going on guys? So another beautiful day out here in LA. We're on Melrose of course, but as we always show you guys Melrose, it's always positive energy. Us going to stores, showing love to the stores, stores showing us love, shopping what's available. But unfortunately, my friends over at Cool Kicks, they, 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 they got robbed. It happened yesterday right or last like two nights ago or one night ago whatever two nights ago Sunday two, night you know they posted about it on social media everybody's talking about it I didn't want to make a video I, I'm not the type to use other people's like issues and problems and, and, and tragic stuff that happens for views and I didn't want to make this video for views so I hit up my boy Adil who's one of the owners of cool kicks and I said yo do you want to make a video about this but I don't want to you know give people the wrong image and think that i'm just trying to use it for views like i want it to have a positive positive message so we're actually going to meet up with him so he can kind of we could talk about it show us what happened and my goal in this video that we're doing is to hopefully help other sneaker stores from preventing this from happening that's my overall goal with this is not just to use this for views and stuff like that i want to talk to adil quickly he's going to show us the store and what happened show us the security footage and another thing i want to say is like obviously a lot of companies and, and stores they get broken into this is not the first sneaker store in la that's been broken into and i'm not going to mention any names because you know that's their privacy they haven't posted it on social media so i'm gonna let that be that's not my place to to put them on blast like that but you know cool kicks has made it public uh they are all about the community and if something happens to them it's like they have to let their followers know because that's you know they connect with their followers they give back a lot they're one of the sneaker stores that definitely gives back a lot let's go ahead and uh let's go see i don't want to talk the whole time so let's go check out cool kicks and see the damage man so legend so baby it's good i like that shirt thank you. Thank you. we cleaned it up a lot already anyway but that shirt's trash yeah i know it came up a lot all right Hi, thanks you. guys appreciate y'all they walk in there probably weeks before days before scouted everything out they had to they probably been doing it for one minute because they got bait i think it's the same thing i got bait that's what i was right saying bro so they, they, thing, they, they have something else coming up too i think watch they're gonna get somebody else you think it's the same people that hit up other stores because there's been a few stores that got hit up i i don't know the way they came in was professional like they had like four dudes like at different corners that's why i do that he was outside for 30 minutes really like with a with a with a bolt cutter at first yeah they came back with a saw then he came back with a uh Hammer, it was like a 30 minutes, so yeah. he clearly had the spot. So no, it's really whack though. Okay, so another note that um, we just mentioned when I was talking to Mook, who's another owner of the Cool Kicks, um, Bape got robbed this morning. The store is closed, as we've told you, two smash and grab burglaries here on Melrose Avenue. LA County Sheriff's Department detectives investigating, trying to figure out if these two crimes are connected. This is video taken by a security guard who was working across the street from Bait. The retail store is on Melrose Avenue near Robertson Boulevard here in West Hollywood. So another group of guys robbed Bait, and that's on Melrose as well. I don't know, I, I, I'm not trying to make Melrose seem bad, but there's some going on here that needs to be talked about, that's for sure. And then the other thing is another situation, like literally the night before Cool Kicks got robbed, somebody tried to break into Mag Park in Burbank. There's like a security footage of a kid who threw like a rock at the window, a brick, a brick. A brick at the window. It's just dumb, bro. It's like not worth it. Like it's 2018, every freaking store has security cameras. You might not get caught right away, but your face is gonna be out there. And eventually you're gonna get caught, bro. I promise you. I don't know, where do you wanna start? What you wanna say or? Basically, Sunday night, me and BK went out. We yeah, I was, I was watching their stories. They were like turning up, but that's the usual. For that's the usual. We that's went out, usual. we had to pass some business cards. And um, I came home, I fell asleep at like 3.30. I wake up the next morning at 6.20. I woke up at like 30, eight missed calls. My heart stopped. It was a lot of calls for protection one. So I look at the security cameras. Everything seemed fine for a second. And then I look carefully. There's glass on the floor. One of the glass cases were empty, completely empty. And that's when I put in a group chat called everyone, BK moved everyone. So I basically rushed, I lived like 10 minutes away, rushed in my car, didn't even shower, nothing, just 
threw on clothes. I rushed over here, there was like three cop cars outside, and I looked inside, they took a good amount, they took every box load we had, they took uh, half of our big collection, tons of V-Loan. We lost probably close to a quarter million dollars worth of inventory. So it was pretty bad, I knew it was pretty bad, and then I didn't know, I didn't, I didn't see the security footage till I got there. But I knew it had to been a lot of people because there's too much inventory being t stolen. So then once we look at the security footage with, with the police officers, it was like a movie scene, like a heist. Um, yeah. First it was one dude started, then it was what, two dudes? Two dudes, then like about six other guys popped up from school across the street. Um, everywhere they just That's popped crazy. in. I think you crazy. said it was like Ocean's Eleven, right? Yeah. It was like a heist, it's man. Like, a like heist. I've never seen nothing like that. Bro, we're gonna bounce back. That's all of us. My guy, see, that's, that's all my mama, that's that y'all niggas didn't deserve that yeah, shit. Y'all niggas be giving back to the community. That's that's always my brother. That's real, bro. But that's what it is. That's the moral story. That's why we, we're good dudes. We don't, we're humble. We don't let none of that distract us. But it's, it's just sad that somebody would do that to us. My back. My back. I gotta back. show my good friends the store real quick. You guys already went live again? No, we're coming up in like uh, three minutes. Bro. It's just crazy. This was the entry point where they went through. So they basically broke one whole solid um, glass case for Did you guys just add the metal bars? Or? No, no, we been, we have the metal bars. In the in the video that everyone saw, it doesn't look like we have the metal bars. We actually do. We had to crop the um, video out because it's only one minute for Instagram. So they opened it. Though. So they opened it. It took them 30 minutes just to break through this metal one. Yeah. Because we had two locks on it, but they still got in through all these the tools. But um, yeah, they broke this. They shattered that whole glass right there. What would you say is like the positive message that you can get out of this and, and warnings to other sneaker stores around the world to prevent this from happening. It's a harsh it is a harsh reality for in our case we're not a consignment store so imagine if we were a consignment store and half the stuff we had was somebody else's. We would have to come out of pocket and pay that individual. So it's for the consignment stores out there that that's one message. But in our situation it's still bad because we it's our money that we invested but life happens and it's just another no, another hurdle hopefully this situation tenfolds or whatever is coming in the near future do you suggest like stores like just up their security yeah or definitely 24 hours nowadays the uh, supreme jordan everything the resale world just keeps growing and growing and everybody's getting involved in this industry so exactly. i definitely recommend everybody to do it nowadays everyone's trying to get this type of stuff I, I was saying too like i'm sure like out of there was like 10 guys right yeah. maybe like two or three of them know about this the rest don't know anything yeah. about it. They're just going for that yeah, quick cash. Because a lot of the, the, some of the people know exactly where to go. Like they were going for the high item. They didn't have to get tons of stuff. They just knew what to get. Exactly. Yeah, just some people were just getting like old vintage teams we paid 10 bucks for. Yeah. Jerseys that don't cost nothing. But there, yeah, a couple of individuals knew exactly what to hit. People always just see our success and they think, oh, they're living their best life and they're happy. They're going out all this life. But they don't realize it's a lot of obstacles we deal with that we don't put out there because we don't want people to think it's just all uh, positive things not negative but it's gonna be good we're working on a lot of different things we're working on an app uh, we have a tv show in the making with um mark Wahlberg. Yeah, it's gonna be pretty that. good um but other than that we gotta it's, it should be looking good man all that v loan half that bait was gone i bought a collection yesterday with kahe couple of people this is a bad man they're literally if you see the footage i'm gonna show you the footage they were just grabbing it like Full this. speed. You could grab a lot. With That's what they did. One dude did that, another dude did the other side. It was bad. They like this area, they touched it, but they touched like this area where the, they knew where the box logos were, like yeah. good stuff. We tried to put it closer. But it's just crazy, man. It's life. It's just, it's even crazier because this morning, a couple people, the manager, babe, I'm cool with, yeah. he hit me up and he said, we got broken into. That's and then I looked at the news and it was out there and I was like, damn, this is crazy. Be the same people, it is bro. the same people because he's and just like They would think that everyone's uh, like right expecting look, nothing look, to happen. Look, they're on TV. the news right now. In one case, not even metal security bars could stop them. This is pretty much what the break in crew faced metal gates and a heavy padlock. So stuff like this. This is um, a collab with North Face. It's a fashion niche, hip urban streetwear that appeals to artists and athletes. The reason why they didn't touch the shoes is because if they're grabbing all these shoes, they're only getting one shoe. They don't have time to go in the back and find the box. So it's the clothing pieces that they're after. So, so they didn't take nothing from here. They nothing. couldn't get in, bro. They couldn't get in. I'm going to show you a video. They, they literally time. were hitting it. Because yeah, I this saw, probably I saw. was blocking it. Oh, well, yeah, probably. It wouldn't break. So I'm going to break this down right now. This is 4 a.m. As you can see, cars are roaming by. Cars are still roaming by. You'll see a lot of, tra of foot traffic going. They're, they're plotting at the time. But now this guy is starting. He has a saw, a wireless saw. So he's about to start. See, we didn't Bruh, put this on social media. So this is about to be the first time. Zoom in, zoom in on this. this is about to be the first time anyone look sees at this. Sparks, bro. Mind you, this is 4 a.m. My cars are going to be driving by. 
He's looking. Damn. And he's still cutting it through. He's been doing. He's been trying to break this lock for at least 20 minutes. And you know, he, so this is one of the guys that for sure knows about the shit because he has six as well. Yeah, so he, has he six. knows what he's what. He's look, doing. my look, a cab just drove by. Oh, so he's not even wearing He doesn't a have a mask. Everyone else has a mask but him. So he keeps he keeps trying with this. Minutes go by. He's still trying. Look, he's still trying. All his boys are waiting. Uh, all of them the are corner. plotting around corners, looking, trying to keep an eye out. But it's a little faster to show you guys. But look, analyze this. They couldn't break it now. They finally got it now. Watch, it breaks the glass. Look how fast they're now going through. Look at this. This is where it gets crazy, bro. We analyze that. Look how many people just ran in. Glass all on the floor. They were slipping and sliding, too. Yeah, look at that you'll one. You'll see that right now. Dipped out. Look how fast you know, everything happened in a quick one minute. All that. Still people inside right now? Or, oh people yeah. are still inside. It's and they dropped different. hella stuff on yeah, the floor. Yeah, when I showed up in the morning, there's like fucking box logos on the floor. No plates were? Like Nothing, that? bro. Nothing. Look, everyone's just taking loads. Mine just eight people. And there's people in the front and driver here. So it's like probably 10 plus involved. Look, how much? This is sick. Yeah, cars just yeah, passing They're just by. passing by. Look, he's taking his sweet old time. He's coming back for something. Look. There it is. That's it. Do you have the other angle? Yeah, I'm sure that's it. Our security system is pretty good. Pretty good that the cops came exactly 15 minutes from then. There's a cop car right there. He was waiting for backup. They they drew their guns out too. I don't know if that seems here, but then the cops just start analyzing stuff. Oh yeah, when they came out, there was like three, four of them. They just they, they, they drew their guns out, assuming that somebody was inside. So this now it's, this is the one they break in. See all the glass gonna shatter right yeah. there. Now look at look at this. He's just grabbing oh, all that's all babe. That whole section. They even took the shoes off the man. Cause that's a sick of this. Oh, that's the only the shoes. One. Yeah, that's the, that's one the thing they took. And analyze the register area. I'll show you a better angle. But watch what they do. The register area. One look. That dude's trying to break in the register. Look, he's grabbing it. Now watch. He's trying to look for like some safe or something. I don't know. They all had gloves too. All of them had gloves. Like another mannequin fell. I think this was it. Oh, oh, they look now. Oh my God, that was literally like. No, it was it jumped up? But like, um, ten, ten, ten minutes later, look, the cops came in and just drew the gun. We're gonna bounce back though. No one us. We won't let stuff like this coming our way. Thank you, my guy for life. They gonna bounce back, man. Back, man. We'll keep you guys we'll keep updated. You guys updated. We got Kaisen, the icon. So cool, we bounced back. Clearly you heard the news, unfortunately. Something bad happened to us. You see the support is real. So we owe it to these guys to bounce back. Therefore we're here, we're about to give a free all fight rap. We, they don't change. We're still gonna give it to the community. We're still gonna keep giving back, no matter what. Everyone has a ticket. Please get your ticket if you don't have a ticket. We got how many I'm, I'm backdoor 10 tickets if y'all wanna give me cash in the back. It's always a hustle, it's always a backdoor in LA. I'm gonna win, obviously. <laughs> Okay, the rules is it's a free oh, raffle. You don't pay for the ticket. Before the raffle, we're gonna do something special. The cool kicks away. Y'all see that pole right there, right? Be the be the star of the show right now. All right. Last chance if you want. Winner gets the uh, off white blazer, right? Yes, sir. Right, shoot, shoot. The black ones. One. Just don't bring the shoes, Justin. The Justin, bring the shoes. All right, I got, I got one ticket right here. All right, should we do it? Let's get it. Listen up. You ready? Six one, five three, nine zero nine, nine zero nine. Got it? Let's confirm. Let's confirm. Let's confirm. Nine zero nine. We got our winner right here.